Hello everyone, today we would like to present to you the Romanian Government Scholarship for students from non-EU countries to study for bachelor's, master's and PhD programs at a selected university in Romania. The scholarship is fully funded, all costs is covered, and is valid for the entire duration of your degree program that you will choose. Remember, in case of any questions or recommendations, leave a comment in the description and we will definitely return to you and respond as timely as you can. And also remember to subscribe, keep yourself updated with the latest information. And also encourage us to keep doing what we do, bringing you all the latest information for different scholarships all over the globe. Uh, welcome to the Romanian Government Scholarship for the academic year 2022. Previously, applications for the scholarship were submitted by uh, the Romanian foreign nations in different countries. However, starting with the 2022 academic year, applications for the scholarship can only be submitted via the designated website, that is the Study in Romania Scholarship. Let us go through the details of the scholarship, what it entails, the requirements, and what it offers to the students who will be accepted to the scholarship. So first of all, the scholarship is offered by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and is dedicated to non-EU students or citizens. So anywhere you are, non-EU citizen or student wishing to apply for a bachelor's, master's, or PhD scholarship, this is the place for you. Okay, applications are already open and they will close on 15th of March, 2022. Let us go a little bit into the details of the scholarship. So information here gives me gives you an overview or a short explanation of the scholarship. Like we say, it's for non-EU citizens. Applicants must have good results in their previous education. In other words, you must have an average or at least a 7 out of 10 grading. Now, you can convert this according to your grading system. If your grading system is a CGPA grading system, you can convert that to a 0 to 10 grading system and make sure that you have at least a 7 out of 10 in your previous education. You are free to apply for any field of study that you feel like on bachelor's, master's, and PhD levels, like we've said. The only exception is for medicine, dental medicine, and pharmacy. The other fields of studies are all open for students to apply for. Once you apply and get selected, usually there is a one-year language preparatory course in Romanian language that you have to take before you enroll into your main degree <coughs> program. So keep that in mind one year language preparatory in Romanian language because courses are offered in Romanian. So you have to have a preparatory year to learn some bit of Romanian before you can proceed to your main degree program. We've seen the uh, duration for application is specified 20th of December to 15th of March and results will be out at around 15th of July of 2022. The reasons as to why you should apply for this scholarship are also clearly stated here. You can find more information by clicking on one of these, these links uh, specified down here. So let us go into the general details. So let us go through the general conditions for awarding scholarship. Like we've said already, scholarships are offered for higher education studies at a Romanian accredited higher education institution. Scholarships are applied only through the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. You can no longer apply through the embassy, Romanian embassy in your country as it was previously. So keep that in mind. All scholarships are now submitted via the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Online, like we are going to see, you must be a citizen of that EU countries, of in that EU country rather. Some exceptions to apply. So the following category of people cannot apply for the scholarship, even though they are from non-EU countries. So keep that in mind. 
citizens of Romanian origin or who are part of the Romanian historic community. So this kind of this category of people have other scholarships so they can apply for. So they cannot not apply for this particular scholarship. If you are already in Romania and living under some kind of protection, you can't apply for the scholarship. If you are a stateless person as well on the Romanian uh, territory and recognized for that case, you cannot apply for the scholarship. If you are a member of the diplomatic or consular corp or a family member of the state category of people you can't apply as well and some other exceptions you, do, you can see below here to be eligible you must submit complete application of what we're gonna see all documents as requested a supply and or rather submit your documents before the deadline of application and most importantly you must have at least a grade seven out of ten seven out of ten convert your grades into the 0 to 10 scale, make sure that you have a 7 out of 10 grade. And then also, you cannot apply for these fields, medicine, data medicine and pharmacy, like we've seen already. All other fields are open for applying. The scholarship, like we've already said, bachelor's degree, master's degree, and PhD. Bachelor's degree is always 30 to 6 years, depending on your program or specialization. Master's degrees are in from 1 to 2 years, usually and PhD range from three to five years. So those are the fields available. We've already said you have to take a language preparatory course before you start your main degree program. So this takes one year and you take that, you pass it, and then you go ahead and enroll for your degree. However, there is an exception. You may be exempted from taking the Romanian language preparatory year if you follow and if you fall under the following categories. You have studied your bachelor's degree four years in Romanian language and you're applying for a master's or PhD degree. You will not do the Romanian language preparatory again. You enroll for a degree program and you take a Romanian language test and you pass it. You will not take the Romanian language preparatory again. If you studied Romanian somewhere, somehow, and you have a certificate, linguistic certificate, of at least level B1, you will not take the Romanian language preparatory again. So, there are categories of people. You studied Romanian. You studied you studied your degree in Romanian for at least four, four years. And you're applying for either master's or PhD. You don't have to take the language again. You've taken the Romanian language test. And you passed it as part of your admission. You don't take the Romanian language preparatory again. And you have a certificate certifying that you have a minimum B1 in Romanian language. So you will not need to take the Romanian language preparatory again. How does the application work? First of all, the links are here where you have to submit your application online. We are going to leave the links down in the description for easy access for you. The application can be completed in two languages, either in English or French. So, according to your convenience, you can choose whichever applies for you. Like we say, you can no longer submit your applications via Romanian dip diplomatic missions abroad. So, you can only submit your application via online to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs online. The documents you need to enroll or to submit your application are given here below. Copies of your diplomas, degrees and certificates. They are supposed to be in English, French, Spanish or Romanian. If they're not in any of the, those languages, you must do a certified translation in any of the languages specified. Certificate, uh, transcripts rather, and uh, grade slips as well in the languages specified. Your birth certificate also in the four languages specified. Your passport, a good written curriculum beta in English, French, or French, or the translation. And for those who are applying for doctoral programs, you will also have to submit a letter of intent. If you are in your last year of high school, bachelor's degree or master's degree, and you wish to apply for the scholarship for the next level, you can still apply, provided that you provide certificates proving that you are in your final year of studies 
and provide the latest grades as well. If you completed the Romanian language preparatory year already and you have a certificate proving that, you can sub submit that as well and then you will not have to do the Romanian language preparatory year. Okay, let's go ahead. What does the scholarship provide for you? Or what are your obligations? You'll be exempted from paying registration fees, tuition fees, testing remaining skills, and any, any other fees related to that. You receive financing throughout your preparatory year before you start your degree, and financing when you start your degree to when you complete your degree. This financing is in form of monthly grants to meet your daily expenses in Romania during the studies. They include accommodation in students' dormitories, as will be allocated through the budget of the Ministry of Education. There is also medical assistance in accordance with the legislation in force. The scholarship also provides you local public, ground level, and underground transport when you arrive in Romania and travel into your destination or the place, city, where you'll be conducting your studies from. So, to recap, registration fees are covered. Romanian language preparatory financing, do you complete it? Monthly grants to cover your daily expenses. Tuition is covered. Um, medical assistance is provided. Local transport as well is provided for you. Now, now that we've gone through all the important bits of this uh, scholarship structure, let us now go ahead and look at how the application process works. To apply, you will need to create your account, or if you've created your account already, you have to log in. So let's first create our account. Provide your names, first names, family name, email address. Create a password to verify that. And complete all the necessary. Once you click submit, the system will send an activation email code, an email act activation code rather to your account. You have to, uh, fill it in here, confirm your account, and then proceed to the next step. Make sure to check the spam folder as that is, it is very, very likely that this uh, activation code will be redirected directly to your spam folder. So make sure to check that one right away. So after you've created your account, you've activated it as well, you can now log in and start completing the application. Once you've logged in, you will have the welcome page and then you have the instruction to start completing your application. Before you begin, there will uh, be this preliminary explanation and, and instructions to make your uh, uh, applications as smooth as possible. So you need to select which ones of these apply to you. So these ones uh, allow, allow the system to make sure that you are not one of, you do not fall under the exception categories of those people who are not allowed to apply for the scholarship. So here we start your names, father's name, mother's name, dates of birth, your date of birth and sex. Choose a good date of birth. Civil status, occupation, if it applies, else you can leave it blank. You can save along the way, and then you can come back later and finish. You can you are not 
uh, obligated to complete the whole application process in one go. So you can save and then come back later and do some more save again until you complete the process uh, fully and correctly. Okay, control back. City of birth as well, you fill in the city of birth. As stated on your passport or national ID, this is very important. Your information must correspond to all this. Passport national ID, you select it. So let's select some few details here to make our process a little bit lively. Okay, same thing. Put in your serial number or ID number or passport number, or whatever it is. Date of issue. Date of expiry, same thing. Country of residence, your current country of residence. Your city of residence. Postal address, street number, street address postcode, whichever it is, and citizenship. Okay, we can still save and verify, or we can proceed to the next step. Now here is where now you start filling in your uh, educational information. What degree are you applying for? Bachelor's, Master's, or PhD? Do you need a Romanian preparatory? Remember we said there is an exception of people who you don't need to do the Romanian preparatory year. So this is why you have to select that. If you fall under that category, select no. Otherwise, you will have to do the Romanian preparatory year. Okay, now you have to submit your grades for your bachelor's. Remember, this is out of 10. So if your grades are graded differently, convert your grades to the 0 to 10 grading system and put what your grade is out of 10, all right? So if your grade is 8.5, out of 10, fill it in there. And here is the grading system, or rather, it's different here. This is as mentioned in your diploma. So this is in the original. If it is in the CDPA grading system, you put it as it is here, and then on this other side, you convert it into the Romanian grading system, that is the 0 to 10 grading system. All right? I think that, that one is uh, clear enough. So the CDPA through the 0 to 10 grading system, very important. And then your diploma is issued by where which country and then here you have to submit your curriculum data like we've uh, already specified that you need one <clears throat> once you've uploaded all the required documents here you can now go ahead and click on the next step and then you can now start selecting your university where you wish to do your language preparatory. You can look these ones out on the internet or you can just select anything at random. It really doesn't matter. So these are located in different cities so you, you can make your option of where you would wish to study your language preparatory year from. And then you start now making your options for universities. You can make up to uh, two options. So first of all you select an uh, university rather. And then you select the domain or field of study that you want to, to apply for. Second option, same thing. And then uh, field of study that you want to apply for. So that's how that one works. Two options for your degree, uh, preferred degree programs, and then you're almost done. The next thing is to preview your information. Make sure that everything is correct, filled in correctly, or the files have been attached as requested. And then you have to click on the I understand And when you're done with that, you can now click Submit. This is where the magic happens. Once you submit your applications, you cannot edit anymore. You cannot edit anymore. If there is some information you're not sure about, or you wish, or you feel like you need to improve on, you can uh, go back to Preview, go back to Review, or rather go back to the Edit Mode, and Save. Once you save, you can log out. And you can come back later, fill in the information correctly, take your time. There is uh, enough time for you to apply and fill in the correct 
information as requested and then you'll have a better chance of being selected for this program so take your time the deadline is 15th of march there is a lot of time make sure everything is completed correctly and neatly and we hope that you will be one of those people who will be selected for this scholarship good luck and thank you